Okay, greetings, my YouTube and Facebook friends. I've been um, talking about this for the last five years, warning you this was coming, and guess what? It's here. There's a religious leader uh, of an organization or a group that reaches billions of people who are Christian and, and or religious around the world. And I've been telling everybody for the last five years that uh, the word's going to come out that aliens took the few Christians uh, during the imminent rapture <coughs> and that the bad people like me, the holy ruler, Bible thumping Jesus freaks like me and my ilk will be considered the bad ones, the bad apples taken away. Let's hear what this um, leader in this religious group is spreading out. This, this used to only be, be being said by the New Agers. Now it's spreading to mainstream uh, Christian and religious groups. So let's go ahead and go over his points. He says, there are two problems with the Protestant left behind interpretation. First, in the passages from Luke 17 and Matthew 24, Jesus' coming is compared to the days of Noah and the days of Lot. Let's think about that for a moment. After the flood, who was left? Noah and his family, the good guys. The bad guys were taken and the good guys were left behind. After Sodom and Gomorrah went up in smoke, who was left? Lot and his daughters, the good guys. The bad guys were taken, and the good guys were left behind. Second problem with left behind interpretation has to do with what I mentioned above in 1 Thessalonians 4. says those who are left get to meet Jesus in the air. You want to be left behind. Why? Because those who are left behind get to meet Jesus on his return to earth. Again, when you put 1 Thessalonians 4 together with Matthew 24 and Luke 17, it becomes quite apparent that the good guys are the ones left behind to meet Jesus, while the bad guys are taken away in what is called the rapture. My friends, we need to wake up and understand that the rapture is imminent. Any second of any day, Christ is going to break the skies. All the signs in Matthew 24 and the whole Bible are here, and prophecy is being fulfilled. The great apostasy is raging like, like never before. If you're left behind, you'll be here for seven years of hell on earth. They'll tear this world its foundations. And if God didn't intervene, no flesh will be left alive. As it is, about two-thirds of all humans will die awful, terrible deaths. And, and most Christians will be left behind as well because they won't repent of their sins after they're saved. But the Bible says at least 250 times that you have to. I've got all the scripture. I've got all the scripture that proves the rapture is pretty true as well. Mess me. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. Look in the box below the video title. I've got my prayer and six vital next steps. If you've never been saved, you're a backslider. Pray that prayer as soon as the video is over. No one's guaranteed any more time in their life. True Christians keep witnessing and praying. If they won't listen, it's between them and God. But look up, my friends. Our different draw up nigh. We fly soon. Share this word with everybody you possibly can. And take care. Bye.